Sagittarius, this is your tarot reading for April. I actually recorded it before Ramadan because I don't do readings during Ramadan. So anything that appears on this site during Ramadan was pre-recorded. But it does have the energy for April in it and I hope you get something from it. Hmm, Sagittarius. Middle card there. Winning at all costs, five of swords. Been cropping up a lot. I've often interpreted it as to do with world issues rather than entirely personal to you. I'm not sure if that's true in your case, but <coughs> certainly could be. And it dominates the reading. And so often, either deception or this winning at all costs has had such a profound effect on people's psychology that it affects all the other energies from all the other cards. So I need to be mindful of that. Your recent past, we have the page of wands. That's you seeking out something new, maybe seeking out new ideas, seeking out new actions. I think so many of us are looking for something new. You know, I think... I'm not alone in feeling completely betrayed, totally betrayed, by those we've assumed to be our betters. By the system, if you like. And we're saying there has to be a better way. And we even know that, you know, the tried and tested ways of changing leadership no longer apply. You know, because even those movements have become completely corrupted. Everything we touch and feel and know and see, we can no longer trust. And I think that's what you're seeking as well. Uh, but currently, you're the Knight of Cups. Where's your heart on your sleeve? Maybe you're like me, you come out with speeches like that when you shouldn't. But you let people know. You let people know that you're full of love, just as I try to. But maybe you get taken for a ride as a result of it. I'm not sure. And your future energy is the star card, so I think you're getting what you're looking for, a rebirth card of great hope. And I think there is great hope in April in 2023. Yes, we'll go through some turmoil, but we're going to get there. All of us are. If we have love in our hearts, we're going to get there. And the energy that's going to lead to the outcome is the, is it a seven or an eight? It's a, it's a seven, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of, seven of pentacles. No, it's an eight. It's an eight of pentacles. I knew what it was, I just can't remember the number. It's the eight of pentacles and that's you investing for the future. Now, I'm not certain this is financial investment so much as, could be investing in education. But let's face it, even education has been completely corrupted, hasn't it? These so-called experts have become so narrow in what they know that their very knowledge is useless and can be corrupted. You know? So what would you invest in? Well, maybe do something like me and Buy a home up in the mountains where you can grow your own food and your own medicine. I don't know, but, you know, you're doing something positive. Oh, what would change the outcome is you coming into some money. The Ace of Coins or the Ace of Pentacles. And quite a few people this has happened to you too. I, I think people are going to lose money in April. Uh, but they're also going to gain money from unlikely sources. And what is the outcome? Well, it's the six of wands. This is you scoring some victories and being seen to score those victories. Are you beginning to understand what you need to do? It feels that way. Let's see. Overall energy running through it is the Five of Swords card. 
it is a card of conflict, but it's a card of winning at all costs. It's a playground-ish feeling, if, if you ask me. You look at them, he's, he's won the battle and he's won their swords off them and I think he's hit them on the bottoms with, with the sword and they're holding on to their bottoms and they're walking off and going, well, if you're going to play like that, we're not going to play anymore. And, you know, this might be entirely personal to you, but I think it's a metaphor for life. And I think the powerful have so overstepped their mark there's a good many of us saying we don't want anything to do with you anymore. If you want to ride round in Lamborghinis and have private yachts, private islands, fly around the world in your private planes to Davos, etc. Go ahead and do it, but don't expect us to be envious of you, only to hold you in utter contempt because we're not playing anymore. Am I going too far? Maybe. Maybe this is entirely personal. But certainly how I feel. And I'm sure a good many people feel the same as well. And you know, I think you've been searching for something different, searching for inspiration, searching for... Searching for a new way of living your life and interpreting the world, like so many of us are, you know, and every stone we turn over we find is equally corrupted, equally abused, that our thoughts are no longer our own. That, you know, even noble movements are just now are just, just totally manipulated. There is nothing we can trust but ourselves and our hearts. And maybe that's the reason why that we need, do need to trust our hearts and follow our hearts. And you're certainly searching for something. You're searching for something. You're aware that of this deception. You're aware that things are wrong, but you don't quite know what direction to go in. And I don't think any of us do. Look at, look at well, almost any country in the world the political systems are in total tatters tatters there's no firm ground there's nobody you can look to there's there's no leadership there's nobody you can look to and you know people are looking to more and more bizarre things turning to what they see as the left and they see as the right and all of it's just the wheel turning round again, isn't it? No, we need to be led by our hearts. Am I going off on one? Well, maybe. You know, maybe these are entirely personal because we now have the Knight of Cups. A lovely knight wears his heart on his sleeve comes out with statements like I have when he shouldn't. Um, but is it about love? You know, he's something of a fool for love. He loves everyone and everyone loves him. And he does get taken for a ride as a result. Is that all that this, this winning at all cost deception card was about? Or maybe I have got things right. And, you know, maybe you're beginning to discover that, discover that love is the only answer. We have to follow our hearts because we have nothing else to follow. All human knowledge has been atomised and destroyed. All human culture is, is of nothing. Even history we can't, we can no longer trust. Everything is shifting. Everything is shifting. But the one thing we have is our heart. And I'm sorry if I'm sounding pessimistic, because I'm not. You see, I see great hope, because we're going to be led by our hearts. We're going to reject Lamborghinis and super yachts and 
private islands and war and hatred and tribalism and start following our hearts and this card the star says that yes that's what's going to happen we're going to be reborn and we're going to reborn be reborn full of hope because we're going to realize that the way we've lived our lives and that everything we've been told is a mirror image of what God wants us to do and we're going to rediscover what we're really all about it's not, not going to happen to everyone at the same time but I can tell you April is a critical month and it's a critical month for you Sagittarius what would lead to the outcome is the eight of pentacles now just let's say that I've got this all wrong and these are about entirely personal issues to you what it's saying is that if you invest in your future probably by learning a new skill then that is going to be of value to you it might be a bit laborious you might not see results quickly but you know it's worth it in the long term and you know these could be, I mean, coming back to my view of what this is all about, these could be skills that you think are going to be valuable in the future, such as gardening, such as community sort of skills, community engagement, uh, low-tech solutions, low-tech community solutions. How you can work and help others. Maybe that's what they're about. Now what would change the outcome is the Ace of Coins. Ace of Pentacles. Which means new money is coming to you. I think this new money is coming to you anyway. Because quite a few signs have had this in April maybe you lose some money and that's happening to a lot of signs in April but most of them there's also new money coming which sort of offsets their losses or new wealth let's put it that way and I think that's what it's about and should you get this new wealth then it somehow changes your trajectory and I'm not entirely certain how maybe you feel less of a need to change and do things differently if you can sort of somewhat hang on to the lifestyle that you've had I don't know now the outcome I don't see as a bad outcome it's the six of ones it's you scoring some victories what are these victories now? Well, you know, we've got the star card, the rebirth, the, the hope. So it's got to be good. I, I, it's, it's related to you learning a new skill. So, you know, learning a new skill that you think will be valuable to you in the light of all the deception and winning at all costs that's going around. So, yeah, this is quite good, isn't it? This is quite good. Whereas if you get the new money, which is coming from the Ace of Pentacles, you feel less of a need to make these changes. When I think you have to change because the world is changing and you need to change to reflect the changes in the world. Not necessarily in the ways that people anticipate you should be changing but in ways that are right for you, your family, your friends, your community. Let's get some clarification, because I've not half gone off on one on this reading. I'm going to seek clarity on this deception card. And the first card we get is the Empress card, and do you know, I, I'm pretty certain other signs have had this as clarity on this exact card and I might have been misinterpreted well I'm not going to misinterpret I'm going to interpret differently for you let's put it that way the next card we have is the Queen of Wands she can be a queen that uses people 
Yeah, and the final card we have is the Devil. Attachments. Doesn't look good, does it? Let's tell you what I think. Now the Empress is the Divine Feminine, at home with Mother Nature, the Subconscious, and Luxury. In the past I've thought that these are things that we need to be much more mindful of for the future. Uh, but I've got a couple of other interpretations now. One is, I, I've just seen a pretty famous person. Um, he, he, he owns a software company, let's put it that way. And what was he talking about? Do you know, I can't even remember what he was talking about. But whatever he was talking about, he was... Suggesting that somebody had behaved with impropriety, which makes you think, oh, what a nice man this is. And yet this person's in, oh, I know, he, he was talking about the Ukrainian president and suggesting that he was corrupt. And you're just thinking, hang on a minute, a corrupter somebody I believe to be a corrupter calling a president corrupt what's going on in this world so should we be saying that they've taken on the mantle of the empress to trick us and win at all costs maybe another way of looking at it is that we're addicted to luxuries and because we have an addiction to luxuries they can deceive us. I'm not sure. You make up your own mind on this. And now we have the Queen of Wands. I mean, she's quite a nice queen. She's a queen that knows how to work with others, but she's also a queen that uses people. And I think this is what it's telling us, that this deception, this winning at all cost, is being done by people who are using others. So even in my last analogy, when I talked about the owner of a software company, he's just a mouthpiece. He's, he's not the power behind the throne. Nor is the Bond villain that we're being given. You know, there's more to it than this, isn't there? So, people are being used. There's manipulation. There's winning at all costs. Maybe we're... Maybe... It's all behind a cloak of... Seemingly... We're doing this for the environment. We're doing it for your health. We're doing it for the good of mankind when it's all double speak and you know that don't you yeah we all do and the final card is the devil card uh, this isn't I'm not going to go off and suggest that what's happening is evil uh, that it's satanic because I don't believe any of it is not at all. It's about our own addictions, our own fears, our own worries. And the truth is, we're addicted to our possessions. So because we're addicted to our possessions, we rightly, we, we have given up our own power. Because we, we need to keep hold of our, uh, our possessions. We need to keep on consuming consuming these trinkets that are produced in China and little bits of plastic and you think what on earth are they for you know why did I buy it even 
yeah, we're addicted to continuing to do it, aren't we? And we're just a part of this sort of system. This system that's creating misery all around the world. And for what? So that we can have this little piece of plastic. Yeah. Sagittarius, like so many of us, you're coming to the conclusion that you've been betrayed, cheated by people that want to win at all costs. And you're realising that you've done it willingly because you're addicted to your possessions. You're addicted to buying little bits of plastic from China when you buy them you think they're the solution to all your problems and after using them a couple of times you realize that little bits of plastic from China but you keep buying them and you keep doing it and you're in this race to keep doing things and keep doing things and you know there's something wrong but you don't know quite what it is and you don't know what the solution is because every stone you turn over appears hopelessly corrupted, appears hopelessly everything has been betrayed. There's no firm ground. And yeah, you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve, you, you speak like I am now. Because you care, you care about people, you care about humanity, you love other people, you love humanity. And you want to do something, but you don't know what you can do. And, you know, you, 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 you decide that, well, I'll learn something. Learn something that might be useful. I don't know what it is. It might be like me, I'm hardly learning it. I'm just struggling. But, you know, doing a garden to grow my own food, to grow my own medicine. It might be something about working with a community. But you're learning something that you think will be useful. And, you know... I think many people might lose money in April, but also new money is coming to many people. And should you get new money, then you can get diverted straight back into buying your little bits of plastic from China online. And, you know, you'll say, well, everything's all right now, you know, it's back to normal. There's a danger of that happening. But I think you're going to have some victories. I don't think you are. We'll slip back. You'll have some victories. People will spot you having victories. This isn't the end of the war. This is just a minor battle. But you'll be scoring some victories. Because you're following your heart. Because you, you have love in your heart. Because you love people. You instinctively know what to do. Because there is hope. There's great hope. Great, great hope. You, you actually in the future are going to go through a rebirth. And you will find great hope and you will know much clearer what to do. And, you know, it's not going to be through your head, through logic. It's going to be through your heart. So all these, all these ideologies absolutely mean nothing. They mean nothing. They're all constructs by man. No, you're going to follow your heart. Well done, Sagittarius. We need more people like you.